So, I've been a Windows user for, well, pretty much my entire life. From the chunky desktops of the 90s to the sleek, modern feel of Windows 11, it's just always been the default. It's what I know. It's what most people know. But lately, something about Windows 11 started to feel a little... off. It wasn't one big thing, but a collection of small annoyances. There were the ads creeping into the start menu, the constant push for Microsoft Edge and a Microsoft account, and this general sense that my PC wasn't entirely mine anymore. It felt like I was using an operating system with its own agenda, not mine. This feeling had been building for a while. That's when the idea of Linux really started to take hold. The first big question was, which Linux? The Linux world is full of distributions, different flavors on the same core. Ubuntu, Mint, Fedora, Arch, and many more. After some research, I landed on PopBot OS. It has great NVIDIA support, crucial for my work. I downloaded the ISO and used Belena Etcher to create a bootable USB, plugged it in and booted from it. The installer guided me through partitioning, username and Wi-Fi, smooth. The whole thing took maybe 15 minutes. No license nags, no forced accounts, just a fresh, ready-to-go desktop. My first impression, clean and fast. GNOME felt modern, with powerful search and workspaces. Alright, first impressions are great, but the real test is the daily grind. Can Linux handle my actual work? My workflow is demanding. Web browsing felt snappier and less bogged down with the same number of tabs. Basic file management and organizing projects were fast and reliable. DaVinci Resolve has a native Linux version, installation was straightforward. Playback was smooth and rendering times matched my Windows setup. But some third-party plugins I rely on lacked Linux support. Compromises. One of Linux's biggest wins was the terminal. One simple command updates the whole system. Incredibly efficient. I used it to install software and manage files in bulk, fast. For about 90% of my daily tasks, Linux was not just viable, often better. More stable, more responsive, less intrusive, a focused place to work. Now for the big one. What about gaming? Proton runs many Windows-only games on Linux with a click. Steam Deck helped a ton. I installed Steam, enabled Proton, and saw lots of verified playable titles. Single-player 8AA titles installed and launched without a hitch. Performance was close to Windows, sometimes just a few FPS lower. But anti-cheat is the main hurdle. Some competitive shooters won't run through a compatibility layer. Non-starter. Casual and single-player gamers. Linux is more viable than ever. Competitive players, Windows still rules. One of my biggest struggles was with non-mainstream hardware. My pro audio interface was a nightmare. I spent hours in forums, trying different command line configurations and installing obscure audio servers just to record clean audio. Some collaboration tools and specific cloud apps had no native clients. Running them with Wine was often janky, slow, glitchy, or crash-prone. Small issues hit at the worst times, sleep-wake failures forced hard reboots. My Bluetooth would randomly disconnect in the middle of delicate edits. Solutions meant more terminal, more reading, time I wasn't creating. On Windows, answers are everywhere. On Linux, solutions assume more technical know-how. Copy-pasting long commands with little explanation can feel isolating. That learning curve keeps Linux from being a true just-works experience for everyone. There wasn't one dramatic moment, it was a gradual build. Under a tight deadline, Resolve suddenly crashed, then crashed again. A recent system update introduced an instability with my NVIDIA driver. Manually downgrading drivers took over an hour of troubleshooting. On Windows, I download an installer and click Next, simpler in a pinch. Not playing certain online games with friends mattered more than I expected. Dual boot felt like a clunky compromise. Returning to Windows 11 was a pragmatic decision. Time and friction won. For my high-demand workflow and mainstream gaming, Windows, flaws and all, was the path of least resistance. Let's break it down, head-to-head -head simply, cost and freedom. Easy win for Linux, free, open source, customizable. Windows costs money and is closed source, Microsoft steers the experience. For absolute beginners, Windows is still easier out of the box. 
Modern Linux distros are close for day-to-day -day use, with occasional tinkering. Compatibility. Windows clearly wins. Vendors target it first. Linux supports most common hardware, but niche pro gear can be a gamble. Gaming. Proton is amazing, but anti-cheat keeps Windows the universal choice. Performance and security. Linux often feels faster and is less of a malware target. If you want maximum performance and control, Linux has the upper hand. First tip. Don't wipe Windows right away. Use a live USB or set up dual boot to test your hardware and the interface. Pick a friendly distro, Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or Pop. OS. Be patient and learn. Use official docs, forums, and ask specific questions. Manage expectations and define your goal. Privacy, performance, dev tools, or curiosity. Looking back, my time with Linux was incredibly valuable. I learned how systems really work. Permissions, drivers, package managers, command line. I saw Windows strengths, massive compatibility and convenience, and its flaws, ads, telemetry, intrusive updates. Linux is the manual sports car. Windows is the luxury sedan. Different priorities. I'll keep Windows as my daily driver and Linux on a second laptop for coding, experimenting, and distraction-free work.